The latest armored vehicle manufactured in Japan is the Type 96 wheeled armored personnel carrier. Its production commenced in 1995, and Japan procured 500 units of these APCs, exclusively operated by the country due to its legal restrictions preventing export. As of 2012, Japan had utilized over 340 of these armored vehicles. This particular vehicle possesses a modest profile and medium-grade armor within its classification. The APC accommodates a crew of two individuals and can transport up to eight fully equipped troops. Mainly, infantry units make use of the Type 96. Enhanced nuclear, biological, and chemical ENBC, protection systems are integrated into this armored personnel carrier, along with a laser warning mechanism. Armed with either a roof-mounted 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, the Type 96 can engage in combat from within its cupola. Troops ingress and egress the vehicle via the rear door ramp or roof hatches. Firing ports are positioned on both sides of the troop compartment, with additional ports at the rear of the hull. Powering the Type 96 APC is a Komatsu diesel engine generating 360 horsepower. The engine is located at the front left section of the hull. The vehicle is equipped with a central tire pressure system, allowing it to maintain mobility even if one wheel is damaged or destroyed. In certain scenarios, it can continue moving even with two missing wheels. Notably, this armored personnel carrier lacks amphibious capabilities. The Type 96 chassis served as the foundation for various adaptations, including a command post vehicle, reconnaissance vehicle, 105mm fire support vehicle, 120mm mortar carrier, short-range air defense missile system, and other models. However, these variants never progressed to the production stage. The only Type 96 variant actively utilized by the JGSDF is an NBC reconnaissance version. In 2017, a prototype of a new Japanese 8x8 armored personnel carrier was unveiled as a successor to the Type 96. This vehicle exhibits increased dimensions in terms of length and height, heightened protection, enhanced speed, greater internal capacity, and improved payload capabilities.